Calamity Ganon. We'll get you one day. But for now, we're going to go find some treasure. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. This is the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Duh. Breath of the Wild. Duh. Duh, duh, duh. There's no S, Martin, you fool. It's not Breath of the Wild. What's wrong with you? I know. My bad. Sorry about that, everybody. Oh, this shield's going to explode on me, isn't it? Oh, dear. All right. So, yeah, in the last episode, we managed to get ourselves the paraglider. And we could go and jump off the cliff face and go into the rest of the Hyrule. But before we do, there is still a ton of stuff inside of the Grand Plateau that we haven't grabbed just yet. A lot of this stuff that I learned uh, when I was collecting B-roll footage for that Top 10 Tips video. But there are these little guys here, the Koroks. I think we encountered them as well in episode one when we dove through uh, that circle of flowers. That was quite a handy little spot. Um, but there's loads of them dotted around and apparently, according to you guys in the comments, you said that their seeds are used to increase your inventory space or something crazy like that. So um, that I am well up for. I'm just going to quickly grab these two chests here. Ooh, fire arrows. Nice. What's in that one as well? Uh, ice arrows. Okay. I think they might be our first ice arrows, actually. Um, there is another Korok just over here. And I promise you I'm not consulting any kind of tutorial for this. These are genuinely ones that I've uh, encountered myself. Oh, we need our Magnesis right here. So we're going to grab a little boulder. I'm going to go up and along. And then we're going to, I guess, just drop that in if we can. I think I need to push it forward slightly. And then sit in, let go. And there's another one. Oh, you're a green face one. Aha! You found me! Bye-bye! See you later, dude. Right, I'm thinking now we're going to teleport over to the cliff face. There we are. Because over there, there's actually the old man's house, which is really, really cool. And what I noticed from when I was collecting footage was that if you go to that house at various different times, um, the old man's diary entries are different each time, which is really cool. Uh, and I've never actually read his diary entry after he reveals that he's boss man, as we like to call him. So that'll be really cool to check out. And just across from his house is that canyon where you have to chop the tree down to go across it. Now that I have the bombs, I can go back there and there's a chest, I'm assuming behind the pile of boulders, behind the pile of rocks. So I'm going to go and do that as well. Um, and then there's even a little encounter just down there to the left. See all those bokoblins? Um, those guys, I think, probably have something cool stashed away. So let me drop down here. Ooh, oh, oh, good God. I was trying to see just how late you can um, you can leave it to... Uh, oh, geez, back it up a little bit. Oh, he still got me. DG, sir. I want to see how late you can leave it to bring the glider out. Turns out you can leave it really late. All you got to do is get that initial gust of wind beneath you and you'll be set. Uh, let me quickly grab you there as well. I also plan today on going up against the boss of the Grand Plateau. You might not have even known that that existed because he's not sat there in plain sight. There's no icon on the screen or on the minimap that sort of indicates that he's there. He's beneath the surface and when you go over to him, he rises and that's going to be really cool. Five more fire arrows. That's insane. Um, I'm hoping... Actually, no, I don't think I do, do I? I don't think I've got another axe for getting across here. At least I don't think I have. No, I don't have a woodcutting axe. I could try a sword. I'm hoping that maybe a sword is going to do the trick. Did that gecko just commit suicide? Rather than being devoured by me and helping out a hero of time, he's just going to throw himself to his death. Whatever, man. I'm not even jelly. Oh, yeah, that kind of works. My shield and my sword are both hella low right now. That's not good. Uh, let's use the claymore. That's massive. That acts like an axe. There you go. One more. Yeah. Go on. Please don't fall. Oh, there was a few times that I've jumped across this before where um, the tree goes at slightly the wrong angle and it ends up just dropping into the abyss, which is um, super frustrating. Uh, no, you don't. That's excessive. He's only a little bird. All right. We're not going to bother. When you kill those pigeons, you often get uh, like little drumsticks, <laughs> which is really weird. You get like little, I guess, like wings. It's really odd, but it's kind of funny at the same time. Right. Inside of here. Here we go. Spicy peppers and the old man's diary. Let's have a little look. Link, bit by bit, you may come to realize who I am. I'm sorry for not revealing my true identity to you sooner. The truth is, after you awoke, your long slumber of restoration, I did not know how to tell you all there was to say. Perhaps deceiving you was not the right thing to do. Still, you must admit I put on a great performance, but all joking aside, what I ask of you is of the utmost importance, dear hero. I implore you, with all my heart, defeat Calamity Ganon and save my precious Zelda. 
I understand this is no simple task I am asking of you, but I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you can do it. I do not doubt it for a moment. I see courage in your eyes, just as I did one hundred years ago. I believe in you, Link. Oh, boss man, you're so nice. All right, we're going to take the woodcutter's axe. I'm going to quickly grab a couple of you bad boys. A stamella mushroom. Ooh, I wonder if this stamella mushroom um, gives you stamina. Seems like it's pretty on the nose, doesn't it? Uh, is that a... Can we use that? The farmer's pitchfork. <laughs> That's fantastic. Nice. Uh, i tell you what. Should we get rid of something for that? We've got too many torches right now. Let's lob one of those away. Bye-bye. There you go. I want the pitchfork. That's rad. Right, now what do I want to do with these guys? It doesn't look like there are any explosives just here. It might be quite cool to pick this guy off before anything else, but the only problem being that my arrows right now, I don't have any normal ones, so I kind of don't want to waste them. No, you know what, sod it. We're just going to go with the pitchfork. We're going to see what happens. You ready for this? He's going to call his buddies over. But it's going to be too late for him by the time they get here. Come on, then. Slash, slash. There you go. Stick a fork in him. He's done. Oh, dear. They've got their weapons. That's fine. Right, get ready for this. Whoa. That was a hell of a lot of... Um, <laughs> that's a hell of a lot of rocks they threw. That didn't last more than a few seconds, that. I wonder what loot's inside. But before we check that, I noticed this thing over here. Oh, there's actually a, a beehive in there as well. Oh, dear. I tell you what, let me use my bombs, seeing as they're infinite. There you go. Throw that over to there. Explode. Does that deal with the bees? Uh, yeah, seems to. I think the bees are gone. Ooh, Corsa Bee Honey. It's the first time I got one of these. Honey straight from the hive is chock full of nutrients. Cooking into this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. Yeah, some more stamella mushrooms as well. What's inside of you? What you got? Mm? Bomb arrows! Whoa! A bundle of five bomb arrows. The explosive powder packed into the tips of these arrows ignites on impact, dealing big damage to anything caught in the blast. Hell yes. All of this from a fork and a bomb. That's all we needed. Uh, don't need another bow right now. We're full on shields. Although, I'm sure one of my shields is pretty low, right? Yeah. Let's get rid of the traveler shield. I don't want that to break on me whilst I'm trying to snowboard around the place. Get myself a seared steak. Glacias, and then we've got some more loot right here. Right, here we go. Let's have a little lucky. What's inside? A throwing spear. Good God. A specialized spear weighted to excel as a throwing weapon. It's perfectly balanced to be thrown farther than your average spear, able to pierce targets from a great distance. Oh, dude. Do we get rid of the fork for that? Do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. I say we get rid of the. F oh, no, but I quite like the fork. No, no, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to throw it into the abyss. There you go. <laughs> That's so good. All right, let me grab you. Good job. Throwing spear. Nice. Uh, let me quickly grab out just a regular traveler spear. I'm now regretting getting rid of the fork. Should have gotten rid of the traveler spear for this one, but never mind. Oh, there's some bacoblins over there. I realized that I kept calling them kobolds in the last episode. I apologize about that. But I think it's just... I, they must be called kobolds in another game. Not in another Zelda game, but in another franchise... These sort of grunty, trolly sort of characters must be called that. Because I'm picking that up from somewhere. Right, should we give this a try? Let's try the big one. Where is it? Um, It's this one we need, isn't it? The throwing spear. I'm going to try and hit that thing there. Yeah. Oh, dude! Have you seen the power on that? Oh, look, now they're getting chased away. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, that doesn't really help me come in any more stealthily, but still. Jeez. Well, because the crosshair was so small, I just didn't know how it was going to work. Oh, he's getting wrecked by the um, by the bees as well. That's so funny. There you go. Get lost. Oh, he got a hit on me. Never mind. Right. Oh, actually, I'm just going to leave him to get killed. Why not? What you guys got? Poker shield, club, and a bow. Is that it? You've not really got anything else. Look at him. They're just rat -tat tatting away at him. It's a long, slow burn, but it seems to be working. Do you want me to finish you off? No, no. Not going to let that happen. <laughs> That's so good. There you go. Bye-bye. Oh, don't you not start on me. I'm the one who freed you. Well, I guess I didn't free you. I destroyed your home. Same diff. Oh, damn. That bridge over there looks cool, doesn't it? Which direction is that in the world? Oh, that's kind of like southeastern of here. It's like a, there's an entire reach here. Here we are. Okay, so you might remember in the last episode or one of the previous episodes, we managed to grab the chest out of there. And then when I teleported here one time, I noticed that thing right there. Do you see it? That massive, like, wedge of ice. 
So I found that if I get my bow out, uh, like so, and yeah, use... Oh, no, that's a bomb arrow. Oh, dear. Hold on a minute. Let me switch. <laughs> Fire arrow, like so. Oh, I missed it. Idiot. There you go. And that shrinks it right the way down. Try again. I feel like I might be wasting this arrow, actually, or this bow, even. Is that now fully gone? Oh, no, there's a teensy, tiny bit left. So I'm going to jump and use the paraglider just to be sure that I don't miss this. There we go. Right. Let me use a different bow for this time because I'm kind of wasting the other one. There we go. Bow Kobo should do the trick. Nice. And then that gets rid of it. And when you inspect it, another Korok. Yeah. Here's another seed. Thanks, dude. Right. Here we go. I want to head over this way next. So big old jump. Paraglide like your life depends on it. Hopefully my stamina doesn't run out. If I can land in behind them, I could probably get a sneak attack on them. Because I think that guy is asleep. Here we go, look. Oh, yeah, oh, it didn't work. I think the option was there very briefly for me to get, like, a, a sleepy assassination on him. Well, I say sleepy. A caught off guard one. Uh, what do we want to go for here? Should we just try the spear? Get a bit of distance on it. Because he's got quite a ranged weapon as well. There you go. You shall not come near me. Ooh, what's downloaded? Hello. Oh, I wonder what's downloaded. Because I genuinely have no idea. This is like a day zero patch, because the game's obviously not out until tomorrow, as of me recording this. Five arrows as well. Nice. Oh, those guys are still down there. My bad. Tell you what I will do. I'm going to drop this drawbridge right here. Let me get a regular arrow on the go. One. And two. There you go. And I might just go like this. Oh, no. It doesn't have quite the same slam effect as I was hoping. Come on, up. Nice. Spear him in the face. Oh, it's damaged. There you go. Right in the eye. Uh, did you drop a club? There you go. I'll take that. Oh, no. That was a torch. Whoa. Okay. Hold up. Hold on a minute. Hold on. No. I was hoping for something a bit better there. I was trying to do one of those dodges to get the special move in. Uh, I don't really want to waste any of these weapons. Have these guys not dropped any? Let's have a little wander upstairs. What clubs you guys got? Oh, that'll do. A Boko Spear. Nice. Got them. No, I was hoping that was going to... No! I didn't realise how low I was on health. I was trying to go for the slow dodge. Oh, he's trying to set his thing on fire. Two can play that game, dude. Ha 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 ha. There you go. Look at that. More damage, more pain, more destruction. There you go. Nice. He's just... He's not going to get anywhere near me. Oh, it's da badly damaged. There you go. Still not taking him out. Let's bring out the Spike Boko Club. Just to finish this dude off. There you are. Good job. Right, that's you dealt with. What was that? <gasps> Is that a shrine? Sod off. Oh my god, there's a shrine right there. I mean, that's a lot further away than it looks, but... Can you just can you just go to any whenever you want? Oh, I kind of don't want to risk it. I kind of want to stick on the path. Stay on the straight and narrow, headed towards Impa. After we leave the Grand Plateau. Ah, so it was around here that I saw a puzzle before. Whereabouts was it? Uh, let me drop down here slightly. I want to say it was like directly beneath me. Or maybe over to the right slightly. Ah, no, there it is. Look, there it is. Got it. So if we can paraglide over to there, that should do the trick. Yep, nailed it. Good job. Right, let me quickly pick you up and just pop you into there. Oh, no, that's a little too high. <laughs> My bad, dude. Hold on. There you go. Finish off the gap. And I think that's the last of all the Koroks that I know of currently. So if you know of any more in the Grand Plateau, I don't mind that being spoiled so much. So feel free to let me know on that front. Right. Do you want to go and check out a boss fight? Because I kind of do. Although there is a chest that I've not grabbed from a camp over there as well. Maybe I'll get that and then go to the boss fight. That sounds like a plan. All right. What can we do here? Should I try and take out the archer with the slow-mo? Oh, dude, that was perfect. Okay, let me get let me get a sword out. Because I can kill this guy in his sleep, probably. Uh, where am I going with it? Put the bow away. Get something cool out, like a weapon. Uh, should we get the claymore out? It seems like it would take too long. I'm going to take out the spiked Boko Club. Okay, you ready for this? I'm just going to creep in, slowly but surely. You ready for this? Sneak strike. There we go, look. Everyone's asleep. They never heard us coming. Final one. Can we take out all of these in full stealth mode? Is that it done? Is that the whole camp completed? Go on. Trigger. No, there's one more round somewhere, apparently. Oh, that guy up there. Oh, we could totally nail that guy. 
without him seeing us. Yes! Look at that! Go on! Please tell me that was it. Oh! Full stealth mode. I'm really proud of myself for that one. <laughs> That's never going to happen again, but there you go. That's an awesome demonstration of that. Really happy with that. No, looking around, I can't see a single thing. You can see loads of cool fireflies, actually. They look really, really nice in this light. See, so it's steak for good measure. And I want to find out what that glowing thing right there is. It's like an ice flower or something. Oh, it's a blue nightshade. A plant that grows in quieter areas of Hyrule. At night, it gives off a soft yellow, a uh, soft glow. Cooked with, cook with it to increase your stealth. Oh. So I think that increases your haste, I think. Uh, and here it is. Right by that encampment. So you should have a decent idea of the geography of this area by now. Um, this is where the small boss lives. I don't know what weapons to go for to start with. I think I'm going to start with this one. I have somewhat of a strat on how to take this guy down, but I've never fully implemented it. Oh, jeez, it's already started. I didn't realize I was stood on him. I genuinely didn't. Where am I? Oh, I'm already on the top. Perfect. So this is the stone talus, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to keep attacking with this. There you go. It's probably going to throw me off eventually. So I'm going to stick with some of the larger weapons. Nice. Oh, man. Look at the damage. Go on. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm about to just one-shot this guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've never got remotely that close to defeating him. And never that easily either. What does he explode from? Amber. What are those? Rubies. We got rubies. A precious red gem mined from large ore deposits from, from throughout Hyrule. Rubies contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. Flint. Strike it with a metallic weapon to spark uh, to generate a spark. This portable fire starter breaks after one use, but it can create a long-lasting flame if you use firewood. Oh, my God. I don't know what just happened there. I fully expected to get, like, flung off of him and then, like... If you get flung off, then he does like this crazy sort of like stretch arm punch that he does if you're really far away. We never got to see any of that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not sad about. You can just see other videos if you want to see other people failing at it, I guess. Jeez. That was pure luck. 100% luck. I think the final thing we've got left to do today now is to head over to the icy area again. Um, and we're going to go behind the waterfall because there's some pretty cool stuff over there. Okay, so what I'm looking for is somewhat in this direction. Um, it's going to take out the fun of chopping down a tree to make a bridge and then using the Korok leaf to blow the raft. But I kind of already showed that off in my 10 tips videos. But once you get across the water and to the other side, or if you want to, you can come from the shrine side like I have. You can go down this way all the way to a bit of loot behind the waterfall. Oh! careful right that guy and he explodes oh yeah and if you're too close to him when he explodes he um <laughs> he freezes you a little bit and something i realized oh no i got frozen something i realized is in this let's play so far these are actually the first chews that we've um that we've encountered which is really odd because if you go down the hill from the resurrection shrine um you do come across one initially but because i took such a wide berth around the path i never actually encountered one so there you go they do actually exist inside of this game Whoa, back it up. There, yeah, good job. Is that an arrow? Oh, that's from a second ago when he missed me. White choo-choo jelly. So what do you do? A jiggly substance that came from an ice choo-choo. It's cool to touch and squeeze and it seems to relieve stress. <laughs> sure. If struck, it will explode in a cold mist. I thought maybe it was going to tell us what kind of, like, property it has. Like, maybe you could use, like, white choo-choo jelly to cool yourself down if you're in, like, a particularly volcanic region. I don't know. That's just me going for a bit of a stretch there. Right, yeah, cool. So look. Raft there, platform there. When you come across this way, behind this waterfall, there are some goodies awaiting us. I'm basically just trying to make sure that we've got as much good stuff before leaving the plateau as possible. So we've got our best chance out in the main world because I, I don't think it's going to be kind to us. The Soldier's Broadsword, a sword brandished by the soldiers who once protected Hyrule Castle. Its durable blade is well-tuned for slaying monsters. Oh, uh, I need to get rid of something. You can go, friend. Bye-bye, club. There you are. Now, is this a one or a two-hander? Oh, it's a one-hander. <gasps> Dude, that's going to be really, really useful. Considering how powerful it is and how quick you're going to be able to attack with it. That's awesome. Five arrows from you. And then what else? A spiked Boko Bow. An upgraded Boko Bow with animal bone to boost its durability and firepower. Its craftsmanship is sloppy, but it's light and easy to use. See, where it mentions specifically what sort of items are, like, mixed with it in order to make the bow better, I'm wondering if in the future, if we can mix a Boko Bow with, like, 
boko pieces, if that makes sense. I know that sounds a bit grim, but I'm wondering if that's something that we're able to do in the future. It'll be interesting to see. And here we are at the Eastern Shrine. I want to say it's Eastern. Let me check on the map. Yeah, the Eastern Abbey Shrine. There we go. So the reason I've come back over here is because I realized that I never fully explored this area. And there's no way there's just the shrine and a couple of guardians spotted around to make your life hell. There's got to be some little secrets and doodads. And already, genuinely, didn't realize that was there. But there's already something pretty nifty right there. It's another soldier broadsword. That's nuts. Um, skeletal hands, they die pretty quickly. So I'm going to swap you out for one of those. What else could be knocking around here? Just trying to see or survey the area from up here. Maybe if I go over to the left slightly, there might be something cool or interesting in that direction. Oh, wait, is that a... What's that? Oh, that's just like a, a busted off door. Thought for a second there we found some kind of, like, trap door. <laughs> we could just, like, head beneath the surface. Find some really cool dungeon that nobody's ever found before. Oh, no! There's another guardian! Oh, God! Go, go, go! I was all out of stamina then. That, I thought that was going to end badly. Like, really, really badly. Right, is there anything interesting up here? This seems awful big to not have something sat at the top of it. Anything? Nothing? That guy's still losing it. Where is he? Yeah, he is an angry little robot. <laughs> now, I've done a full sweep of the perimeter and I didn't really seem to find anything else. Granted, I did walk around the outskirts because I wasn't too crazy about the idea of getting right into the thick of the abbey because there's a hell of a lot of guardians there. <laughs> I definitely don't want to get tangled up with them. So I think that might be where we're going to leave it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we are going to be heading down into the main body of Hyrule and start heading towards that quest icon to go and meet Impa in Kakariko Village. And I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.